Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This beautiful gentleman over here is Tim, and this is The Second Legacy, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we're going to cover something that it's going to be interesting. I'm going to say the least. You might find some similarities with some other stories we've seen or the exact opposite reaction because rules for thee, not for me, is something that is very popular in our current time frame. But before we get into that, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn that notification bell on. We would love to have you join the uh, party with us to spread freedom far and wide across this beautiful nation. But let's get into this. Tim, how are you today? Everything good? Doing great. I just love stories yeah. of political privilege. It just Do makes you? me all warm and fuzzy. Yeah, this fuzz, is good fuzzy stuff. Fuzzy on the inside? F inside or outside? <laughs> yeah. Is yeah, it like both. a mold? It's kind of yeah. like a mold that like grows on you? Yeah, all right, I have well, hair down my back. It happens. Yeah, it does. It happens to all of us. Thanks for that, by the way. Let's just... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, my <clears throat> brothers and sisters, we got to talk about this. Besides Tim's hairy back, we've got to talk about this story coming out of Virginia. Now, here's some backstory because this is really important to understand as we go forward. You guys remember the very tragic story of the six-year-old who brought a firearm to school and shot his teacher. We all know about the story. It is unimaginable for most of us, right? Well, that was very quickly latched on as a reason for gun control because the prevalence of gun violence in America, the epidemic, it's everywhere. It's permeating every facet of our culture. There's only one little problem, what we're about to show you because it is developing as always could you throw number one up for me? Let's set this up right. Federal gun charges filed against mother of six-year-old who shot Virginia teacher. Now, Tim, before we unveil the magic here, why would it be federal? Does that make sense? Because it should be local, yeah, shouldn't it? Yeah, that's local jurisdiction, and and uh, there must have been a federal crime violated somewhere, right? Well, what, but what could that federal crime be? Because or a federal law violated somewhere, yeah, or or crime. or something of nature. Because that's the thing that spoke out to me is why mm. federal? Well, you, you know, know what? I, maybe no, that couldn't be because Bruin protects that. You yeah, because I mean, against that's something we covered know, earlier on a four four seven three form, right? Yeah, because forty four seventy three is if. If you're the president's son, you, you know what? Enough teasing. Enough of the emotional, <laughs> just the tip here. Let, Mr. Producer, can you throw up number two for me? Let's, let's bring the audience in on the joke. Newport News, Virginia. The mother of the Virginia elementary student who police say shot his uh, teacher in January is now facing federal gun charges. Now to number three, the payoff. Court documents indicate that Deja Taylor, the mother of the six-year-old boy who police say shot Richnick Elementary School teacher Abby Zwerner, faces federal charges of unlawful user of a controlled substance in a possession of a firearm and making a false statement during the purchase of a firearm. It states she was an unlawful user of marijuana. Now, Tim... We're going to set up camp on this for a second. What do you want to do first? You want to do the fact that the ATF reminded the you know, Minnesotans that crime and, or excuse me, that marijuana and firearms don't mix, or the fact the obvious Biden Hunter thing going down? What do you want to touch first? Well, we, we can talk about that because, you know, a federal court has decided that, you know, marijuana use is not a disqualifying uh, reason for, you know, not being able to exercise your Second Amendment rights. The right. That seemed to always never get the memo from the federal courts interesting yeah. how that happens it's, but it, it's odd you know we do we do have the issue with with hunter biden where uh his he lied on a 4473 form saying he wasn't using Absolutely. illegal drugs and then his gun wound up in a dumpster and yep. uh if it wasn't for the secret service retrieving everything and trying to clean up his mess bad things could have resulted from that right mm -hmm. but uh, looking at this i think i figured it out hunter Give biden me. doesn't use marijuana he uses cocaine meth crack uh. Uh, other you know, things fentanyl. it's different substances yeah yeah so I see. you know it's just marijuana they're concerned about it's the only schedule one drug they're worried about you know if you're the president's son and you're protected by the Bruin decision I believe is that what his lawyers are trying to say right yeah yeah actually I mean that's, a, that's, a, that's a very good point Tim um your sarcasm kept it afloat it floated right on top of that sarcasm that was very good <laughs> um I think it's important to note that if you guys will recall and you're watching the second legacy right now thank you by the way um you guys will recall that we covered a Hunter Biden story, how he was going to be the new poster boy for the Second Amendment rights, because it turns out that they were using the Bruin decision to say that there was no historical text and precedent to say that you couldn't be on drugs in a 4473, because that, that just wasn't simply there. But now, looking at what we're got, we've got here, this woman, who is not the president's son, who is not part of the political elite, 
she violated federal law and lied on a federal federal document of 4473 to get a gun. Now that's interesting. I wonder why that is. Yeah, because like hmm. you said, she's not a political elite. You know, the whole correct. So open the video with rules for thee, not for me. It's absolutely yep. disgusting how these politicians constantly mm-hmm. get themselves out of trouble, get their family members out of trouble, their close associates out of trouble. Now, anytime somebody winds up, you know, coming to light, this is kind of unrelated, but, you know, they, they don't want to talk about uh, that. The FBI doesn't want to show the whistleblower's name regarding right. the Biden criminal syndicate that's going on at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue because they're scared that their confidential informant, a person, might wind up dead. Mm-hmm. Are, are we living in a banana republic? They're well, worried I mean, obviously. <laughs> that they can't release the confidential informant's name to Congress who's investigating corruption at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, and they don't want to release the name because they're worried he'll wind up dead? That's a banana republic. And then we have mm-hmm. the president's son who lied on a 4473 form and, and obtained a firearm, presumably illegally, yet they're going to not prosecute him, but they're going to go after this lady under the exact same situation, exact same. The same laws, same rules, same everything. She's going to face federal charges and he's not. Again, we're in a banana republic. This is ridiculous. Right. No, no, and I think that's the best word. And of course, guys, if you're watching this, we we started this out literally in an ocean of sarcasm because it del- it deserves it. It is that insane. And now, on a serious point, Tim just highlighted it perfectly. You've got one set of rules for one individual and another set of rules for others. Now, we are not by any means accepting the behavior that we're talking about as what should be normal, anything of that nature. We are merely highlighting the fact that it's pretty clear and obvious what's going on here. In fact, one of the things that we hit on as we pivot a little bit in the story, because there's even more, one of the things that was hit on very hard early on when this tragedy happened with the teacher and the student, everyone on the left, the gun controllers said, there's something wrong with our culture that a six-year-old could get a gun and shoot a teacher. Oh, we agree there's a problem. On the gun on the gun right side of the argument, we're like, uh, yes, six-year-olds shouldn't have access to that, which points to other factors, not the fact that the gun exists. Okay, So now that brings in this next point. Mr. Producer, could you play number four for me? Taylor, this is the individual in question, was indicted in April by a grand jury on charges of felony child neglect and misdemeanor recklessly leaving a loaded firearm so as to endanger a child. Again, Tim, does that sound like it's an animate object and every bit of malice and every bit of evil that was poured into the forging of that firearm? Or does it sound like we have an irresponsible adult for the yeah, love? It's just, it's just an irresponsible parent that left a firearm out that's loaded for the child to pick up. Right. Right. But that's not what the centers around. I mean, sure, they're probably going to wind up. looks like they're no. being charged with that. But well, of they're also charging him for lying on a 4473 form because the parent right. was using marijuana when the president's son's going to walk on those charges. Mm hmm. No, oh, 100 percent. This this literally was tried. This was attempted to be framed as this is why we need gun control in the United States. And now it's falling apart from every possible angle, including bringing in examples from Biden son, well, Biden son, Hunter. Now, just to reiterate this, I'm going to wrap this up, Mr. Producer number five, and then we'll do closing comments on this. It also states that she, quote, knowingly made a false and fictitious written statement to win free firearms, that she was not an unlawful user of marijuana when, in fact, she then knew she was an unlawful user of marijuana. And the reason that that was to wrap this whole episode up is because it cannot be more crystal clear. The verbiage there should be directly applied to anyone who did the exact same thing, Hunter Biden. It cannot be more clear than that. And yet, you've got the Bruin decision being utilized for that defense. But in this scenario, no, 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 no. There must be federal charges brought, I tell you. It's disgusting. Openly disgusting. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of where we find ourselves today. I mean, the, the hypocrisy from our politicians is just through the roof. And they don't even try to hide it anymore. Nope. You know, we, when we talked about the Hunter Biden deal and, and his lying on a 4473 form, you know, mm-hmm. we, we, were, we were talking about the incredible 
corruption that we're seeing within our government. And this is the same government that wants to impose its will on us. So yep. here we have the president's son that's just being, oh, you know what? This, is, this isn't really something we should investigate. It's not that big of a deal. Matter of fact, I even remember discussions around the fact whether or not, when are you an illegal user of marijuana? You could have right. previously been an illegal user of marijuana up until the point you bought the gun. But it, there mm -hmm. seems to be some sort of a gap there. Like, well, I used marijuana three months ago and I bought a gun later, so I wasn't technically using marijuana. I'm not an illegal user because past use isn't a crime. It appears to be when it's more closely tied to the date of the purchase of the firearm based upon some of the reporting I'd seen previously. I mean, what is this? It's just all over the place. Yeah. And then it, it flies in the face of a circuit court decision saying that, yeah, mm -hmm. the, you, you can't use marijuana use as a reason to deny somebody access to their Second Amendment rights. Right. All and of then this you coming also... together just shows... Mm -hmm the incredible broken nature of our government and, and justice yes. system. Yeah. And then you also have to add a little more color to that conversation. You also have lawsuits in Florida filed by the DNC's own uh, agriculture, um, excuse me, commissioner of agriculture in Florida against the Biden administration because of the exact same thing. The, <laughs> the different facets of this and the just, honestly, yeah. it's just the hypocrisy. That's what it is. What? It's really, it's really the hypocrisy. Here's what drives me nuts. <laughs> Why do we even have courts? Because when the courts make a decision, the government just ignores them. Because we need robes. We need robes, and they're they're fancy. And yeah. if we were in Britain and we were fancier, we would have white wigs, but we don't. <laughs> and beyond that, not only do they ignore the courts, but then when Congress decides to conduct an investigation, which is of their authority, right? They're supposed yep. to provide yep. oversight. When they decide to open an investigation, members within the government just go, you know what? We're not showing up to your hearing. <laughs> It's, I'm not coming, IRS, it, you know, it, director. You know what I think the problem showing. is, Tim? You know it, what I think it, the problem is? What? It's simple. We have lawyers in the United States. We need barristers. That's what it is. We have the wrong name. We need barristers. <laughs> you think that would fix everything? Absolutely. Absolutely. We need wigs and barristers, and we're good. Done. Problem mm. solved. Yeah. No? That won't do it? <laughs> oh. I think it's, yeah, well, I don't. It might be time to pull these people out of their positions and replace them. Yes, through voting and legal means. Yes. <laughs> yep. Was that clear time enough? Everyone. <laughs> time to go. Everybody, just go ahead for the door. Go home now. You're yep, fired. Yep. Go on. Get out. It, it, you know what, yeah. Tim? I think I think right now is the time where we wrap the episode because we're about to get in trouble. <laughs> I feel we, like I yeah. feel like we're right there. Yeah, we're right up against the wall. We're gonna yeah. get that knock on the door. Like, uh, gentlemen, you want to come outside? We gonna chat with you. Do you have any marijuana? No. How many, any braces? Any braces <laughs> laced with marijuana? Anyway, so. Are, are, is the marijuana <laughs> hidden in the braces? Yeah, yeah right. In, in, in the fold of the brace. Can't do that. See? See, this is why so, we need to stop right here. This is why we need yeah. to stop. Okay. <laughs> Hard stop. Folks, if you'd like to be part of our call-in show, you can do that by following a link in the video description below. Fill out that information. We'll contact you. We'll get you on the show. You can ask a question, make a statement. We'll have a great conversation around whatever 2A issue is on the top of your mind. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon.